All right, so Bernard Sanders, our good friend Bernard Sanders, decided yesterday at 6.03 p.m. to tweet this out. This week on the Senate floor, Mitch McConnell wants to vote to override Trump's veto of the $740 billion defense funding bill and then head home for the new year. I'm going to object until we get a vote on legislation to provide a $2,000 direct payment to the working class. So, I just want this to be understood, right? All the Jimbo, Dumbo, Jimmy Dore fanboys that are doing, Oh, first to vote. Well, AFC is evil. She's not first to vote. This is leadership. Those same people that have been saying, Bernie's a sellout. Bernie's evil. I hate Bernie. Do you hate Bernie now? I'm sorry. I need to get my shy and Freud in there. So here I have an article from Politico. Bernie Sanders to delay defense vote override and bid for $2,000 checks. So I'm going to read this whole thing. During the Obama administration, um, real quick, Bernie Sanders, I think it was in 2011, I want to say. I don't know. You can look this up. Bernie Sanders did a nine-hour filibuster. He stood at a podium and filibustered bad legislation for nine hours straight. An old, frail man filibustered for nine hours straight. No breaks. Maybe there was a break. I don't know. I haven't watched the full thing, but I do want to watch the full thing at some point. Should I do a stream one day where I just sit and watch the entire Bernie Sanders filibuster? Um, maybe, maybe if he does the same thing, maybe I should live stream this one. What do y'all think? Should I live stream this Bernie filibuster? Someone try to keep me posted when he actually goes up to do this. Anyway, so let me read from Politico. Senator Bernie Sanders will filibuster an override of President Donald Trump's defense bill vote uh, veto unless the Senate holds a vote on providing $2,000 direct payments to Americans. Um, Spoopy Penguin in the chat. Side note, Bernie rallies are dope. I went to a couple of them and I can tell you I have never felt more powerful in my life. Needless to say, I was heavily disappointed, uh, but I've never felt more power and energy than being in a fucking giant group of like over a thousand people like screaming about healthcare. It's great, right? Anyway, I'm sorry. McConnell and the Senate want to expedite the override vote. And I understand that, but I'm not going to allow that to happen unless there was a vote, no matter how long it takes, on the $2,000 direct payments, Sanders said in an interview on Monday night. An interview with where? With who? Who knows? The Vermont Independent can't ultimately stop the veto override vote, but he can delay it until New Year's Day and make things more difficult for the GOP. Again, if you're shitting on Bernie Sanders, I'm sorry. If you claim to be a leftist and you do not see Bernie Sanders as an ally, I'm sorry, you're garbage. I want nothing to do with you and you're dumb. You're a dullard. The House passed the payment boost sought by Trump and the Democratic leaders on Monday evening. And Trump said the Senate has agreed to start the process on a stimulus checks vote when he signed the $900 billion relief bill. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has yet to address the timing of such a vote. Under Senate rules, Sanders has the ability to keep the chamber in during the holiday week and likely mess with the campaign schedules of Senators David Perdue and Kelly Leffler in Georgia. I love Bernard. I love this guy. Those two face January 5th runoff races for the control of the Senate against Democrats John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock, who are both campaigning on the $2,000 checks. A source close to, the Sander, uh, close to Sanders said the Senate races were a factor in his decision, part of a bid to keep Purdue and Leffler in D.C. and focus the campaign on their position regarding the $2,000 checks. Imagine, right? They're going to be in D.C. All eyes will be on them as they vote against American people uh, getting relief, right? I should sink their campaigns, but it's Georgia, so who knows. Sanders also threatened to shut down the government earlier this month if the coronavirus relief bill did not include direct payments. Ultimately, it included checks of up to $600, and the government stayed open, though now Trump which months, uh, wants to go much higher. Though veto overrides can be filibustered, as Sanders plans to do, it is a rare procedural move because the veto override already requires 67 votes and the filibuster is simply a delay tactic, according to the Congressional Research Service. Sanders said he hopes McConnell allows a vote on the checks on Wednesday. Isn't that tomorrow? Um, 
The American people are desperate, and the Senate has got to do its job before leaving town, Sanders said. It would be unconscionable, especially after the House did the right thing, for the Senate to simply leave Washington without voting on this. It's not clear whether there are 60 votes in the Senate for the $2,000 checks, which would require at least 12 Republicans to join with the chamber's 48 Democratic caucus members. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer plans to try and force a vote on the House-passed bill Tuesday, which is today, I believe, though any of the member of any one member of the Senate can object and many conservatives oppose that level of spending. Still, Marco Rubio has endorsed Rubio has endorsed the $2,000 checks on Monday night and some House Republicans supported it on the floor, demonstrating a split in the party over whether to give Trump the checks he's demanding. The Senate Republicans, right, are going to have to vote against Donald Trump. Now, that's not usually a huge deal, especially for the ones that just won re-election. But for the those in Georgia, if they vote against the president, theoretically, they're done. Trump followers in Georgia are already organizing to not vote for them because they wouldn't help steal the election. Imagine, they don't help stop the steal and they don't give $2,000 like Trump wants to the American people. They're done. Bernie Sanders doing it again. Literally, like the week of New Year's and Christmas and this guy is fighting for Americans. And again, is everything Bernie Sanders done perfect? Absolutely not. But don't let perfect be the enemy of good, right? This is a wonderful thing. And all the shit that the Jimbo Dumbo motherfucking losers have been crying about for weeks, Bernie is doing for something more important than Medicare for all. Yes, I said it. $2,000 cash payments right now are more important than Medicare for all. I'm sorry if that offends you. That's the truth, okay? And he's being even more hardball on the tactics, right? So again, if this doesn't prove that the Jimbo Dumbo left has lost its mind, then I don't know what will. Actually, I do know what will. And here's the next segment I've got lined up. I'm going to read this fucking tweet. And Jesus Christ, is it cringe?